Hi everyone, this is the Magento tutorial for managing products within the Magento admin panel by Trellis. Um, I'm going to do my best to cover everything um, as quickly as possible. There's a lot to cover when um, you're considering uh, products in Magento, especially when you consider the fact that you can create custom attribute sets and attributes that uh, can add a lot of functionality to the, the products. Um, so I'm just going to cover the default attributes within Magento uh, the best that I can and try and uh, follow um, kind of the tutorial that I that the written version of the blog as well so it kind of follows along that. Um, so this is the Magento admin panel. You can get to it by uh, logging into your uh, slash admin or uh, if you created like a different URL to get to the admin panel. Um, once you've logged in, you should see a similar screen to this. Um, then from here, you're just going to go to the catalog, which is where all your you know product data, product information is going to be, um, and click on Manage Products. Um, and you can see here, just, these are just some, some basic um, default products that we've created. Um, and the default uh, Magento product management system allows you to sort by ID, uh, name, uh, type. There's six different uh, Magento product types, um, attribute set. Uh, there'll be a default one, and then you can create as many uh, basically custom attribute sets and name them whatever you want them to be. Uh, can, you can search for a SKU. Uh, you can look for price uh, and quantity, uh, search by visibility and status. Um, so there's quite a few different ways that you can sort through and find products uh, in your Magento app admin panel. You can also view up to 200 products at a time um, and then from there you can even like do bulk actions um, by like checking off, say you wanted to check off all 200 products that maybe were a certain type, like you wanted to change uh, something with the configurable products, you can do that with the type um, uh, you know, uh, filter right here. And then you can also do an, uh, an action, uh, a bulk action to all of those products at the same time. So if I wanted to update the attributes um, I would be able to, you know, update all five of these attributes right here. So let's say I just wanted to change, um, you know, something about uh, the name or the description or whatever, whatever it may be, whatever the attribute you want to change, you can do that to a bulk amount up to 200 at a time that you can check off. Um, and you can even change their quantity and, um, and other things like that. Um, so... Uh, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time talking about the bulk actions that you can do. There's also a, an extension called Amnesty Mass Product Actions, which allows you to change attribute sets and um, do more than just what the uh, the default actions are uh, within within the Magento admin panel. So um, now I'm just going to go into one of the default simple products. Um, and actually, I'm going to create a product first so that you can see kind of what is, what's involved in, in creating a product. You can also click on any of these products to edit them. So I'm going to go uh, create a product. It's just going to be a simple product. Um, so these are the attribute sets that I have set up. Default is going to be what you have with the default install. Uh, custom is, a, is an attribute set that I created. Um, we have a separate blog post on attribute sets and attributes that uh, I will cover in different scheme, screencasts. Um, so you can learn that in a separate separate section. I'm just going to go with the default attribute set and the simple product type. Um, the six product types are, are very different. I, I explain them in the blog post. Uh, simple is just a standard SKU. Uh, you know, it could be a green T-shirt. Um, a configurable product is, is, is more complex than that. It's essentially a collection of simple products um, controlled by an attribute. So let's say that attribute is color and you have 10 different colors, so each, you'd create 10 simple products that were um, you know, green, blue, red, all the 10 different colors that you'd want. Um, and then you would create a configurable product that would um, basically be the master of those simple products, and that would allow you to um, you know, select the different colors uh, of, of that configurable product. Um, a grouped product is um, somewhat similar to uh, configurable products, in that it's a collection of, of simple products, but um, it's it's essentially a group of, of like you know say you had like three toys, or um, you know it was a, a product that was essentially a collection of simple products. Um, that's wh where you would use a grouped product. A virtual product is something that you would use for um, something that's not a physical product, um, something that might be like a uh, 
a ticket, let's say you're selling tickets to a concert, you're a, a theater, and you have a Magento store, and you want to sell tickets online, you would create all your products as virtual products. Or if you had a service, a subscription service, uh, you were a magazine, an online magazine, or an online subscription that you wanted uh, people to subscribe to, uh, you would create a virtual product, and uh, then they wouldn't be actually you know, shipping out, you wouldn't be shipping out that project it, product, it would just be something that they would, uh, some sort of online subscription or online product that they would be paying for. Um, and, uh, but once again, for the virtual products, you could use it if it was like, for instance, a, a service, if you're a cleaning service, it would still be a virtual product, but um, you may be coming in person to deliver that service, um, but they're not actually getting something like shipped to them. Um, so a virtual product could be a pretty versatile um, uh, product within Magento could be used for a lot of different things. Uh, a bundled product is um, also um, uh, a collection of products. It's similar to grouped and configurable. However, um, it's meant for something that would be like a computer that you could customize. So maybe you wanted to add a processor, you wanted to add um, different components, like a, a different level processors to your computer or uh, RAM, like you know you can upgrade your RAM or your hard drive space on a computer. So a bundled product would be um, some sort of you know kind of complex product that um, might have like a bunch of different options that could be customized. Uh, a downloadable product is exactly what it sounds like. Um, let's say you're selling you know Photoshop files, you would create a downloadable product, upload the Photoshop files, and then someone would buy and download that uh, those Photoshop files. Um, for right now, we're just going to st stick with a simple product. Um, most people are going to probably be using simple products throughout their Magento store, so it's a good place to get started to learn how to use um, products within Magento. Um, so now I've created the, the product. Or, uh, well, I haven't created it yet. You have to obviously save the product and save the product's uh, progress um, that you've uh, made when you're uh, filling out the product information. Um, so... Within the um, Magento admin panel, uh, it's going to start with general. These are all the default um, attributes within Magento. So these are the default general attributes, um, name, description, short description, SKU, weight. Um, you'll see them if you go to the attribute sets and go to uh, the default attribute set. Um, so the first thing is whether it's a featured uh, product or not. A featured product may be something that you use on the home page or you feature on some sort of section within your website. Um, it depends on kind of the theme or how you design your website, whether that's actually going to be utilized or not. Um, you'll notice how the red uh, little star is next to name and description. Uh, that means it's an attribute that's set up within Magento that is required. Um, you can go in and actually change that attribute to not be required if you, for whatever reason, don't feel that it is required for your product sets. Um, in most cases, the required attributes in Magento are there for a good reason, so you probably want to keep them as required because every product should have that data filled out. Um, so name is exactly what you ex you'd expect. It's the name of your product. It's the name that the person would see when going to check out um, from your Magento store of what they've purchased. Uh, the description is meant to be more in depth. Uh, you know, really explaining your product as much as possible. I can't um, stress how important a really good description for your product is to having success successful e-commerce website. So definitely make sure you have a really in-depth description for all of your products. The short description might be something that you have like a, you know, above, like towards the top of your product uh, information, a quick snippet of the description so that they can quickly understand what the product is. And then maybe towards the bottom of the page, they might see uh, a more in-depth, uh, the actual long description. Uh, the SKU is the unique identifier that you use to uh, manage your products. Um, so, you know, it could be any combination of letters and, and, uh, numbers. So, um, you know, most businesses run, um, run the business with some sort of SKU organization. Uh, the weight is critical for shipping. Um, most of the major shipping carriers, um, determine the shipping costs based off weight. So you really want to make sure all the weights on your products are accurate. If you want to have some sort of automated shipping, um, cost presented to the uh, customer when they're checking out. So if they're checking out with UPS, shipping, ground shipping, it's going to calculate that that cost 
um, heavily based off the weight because obviously something that's 50 pounds is going to be a lot more expensive to ship than something that's uh, one pound. Um, you can set the product as new from and to. Um, you might have like a new product section in which uh, you're featuring all the new products. Um, here you can set the status as enabled or disabled. You know, maybe this is a seasonal product that you only have for a few months. Um, the URL key, that's um, some more of like a site architecture SEO optimization uh, tool. Um, so it's usually going to be something lower ca case. So let's say if it's a, a red shoe, you might do something like red shoe and it'll be the um, appended onto the URL of what that uh, category is. So let's say it was in category shoes and your site is called, um, you know, uh, redshoes.com so you would be the the URL to this product would be redshoes.com slash shoes slash red dash shoe um, so that's essentially the path that the the user is taking to get to this product um, the visibility is um, you know what you would use to determine uh, how you want people to find this product um, catalog and search means that they can find it when they're searching through the catalog um, like if they're going through the different categories, uh, search is if they want to search for a product, they want to just narrow in on something that they know they want, um, they can search for it too. Um, then you can have it just be visible via search and they can't get to it maybe when they're filtering down through the, the catalog in the different categories uh, and vice versa. You could have it so they can only get through it th through the categories, but they can't actually search for it. Uh, and then you can have not visible individually. So. Uh, you may want to use that for simple products that you don't want showing up by themselves. They might just be a collection of the configurable product, which I um, talked about earlier. Uh, so let's say it's a red shoe. You don't want it showing up by itself. You just want them to see the configurable shoe that has all the different color options in one product, which would be the configurable product. Um, the country of manufacturer, um, you know, that's wherever this product was made. Uh, depends on the product. Um, this is actually a custom attribute that I created. Um, it doesn't really mean anything, but essentially it gives you an, um, an idea of what you can do by creating your own attributes. So I just called this config and used it, uh, as an example of creating a configurable, uh, product with different options. So I created three simple products, one, two, and three, and then I had a configurable product that had all of those, uh, options associated with it. So this might be something like color size um, and if you if you put it under the general section um, it's probably something that's going to be applicable to all of your products or a large set of your products um, now we can move on to price um, prices here you know it's in US dollars it's the price of your product um, it could be you know five dollars whatever you want to price your product at um, adding a price group this is a really cool feature in that you can have different customer groups within Magento. Uh, I'm not going to get too in-depth into customer groups, but you can uh, create your own customer groups. It has default ones here, general, wholesale, retailer, uh, and not logged in. So let's say someone that's not logged in, you want to have a higher price. You know, Maybe that the not logged in is uh, $10, and uh, you know, your general... Someone that is logged in would be, you know, they'd only see nine dollars, and uh, someone that's uh, wholesale might get uh, eight dollars because they're a wholesale customer. So you can um, essentially do custom pricing per product for different types of customers. Um, and this is especially helpful for anyone that's business to business in any manner. Uh, even retail, you might have some bulk customers or customers that you want to, um, you know, give special pricing to. Um, the special price is essentially, you know, the discount price. It, maybe it's the price that you're running as a promotion uh, for, uh, you know, Christmas, uh, Black Friday. It could be anything. And then you can even choose the dates in which you have the special price. So if you want to just do, run it for a week during that uh, that date, you can make it sure that the, this just this one product has this special price during this time. Um, the tiered pricing is uh, also a really awesome feature and you can have let's say they would buy five shoes now uh, they can get a special price on the shoes instead of it being ten dollars now it's uh, eight dollars per shoe um, so you can um, essentially create custom pricing for different quantities and bulk um, bulk uh, purchasing um, and obviously as a business it's great to incentivize your customers to purchase more um, so this is definitely a feature I suggest utilizing in some manner if, if, if it works for your business um, 
All right, well, I'm uh, running out of time for this screencast. I will continue the rest of the uh, tutorial in uh, another screencast and uh, leave off um, where I'm leaving off right now and then restart at uh, Apply Map.